I made the mistake of looking up the reviews on this restaurant depot that I'm going to in Columbus. You should look up the reviews. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, puppers. always a great indicator of a place because you know people can be overly sensitive and upset over nothing you know Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You know. You know. You know. You know. I begin to. I begin to. I don't have enough time to get to a place that would make a difference. I have enough time to get to the truck stop that's like 17 miles away, but then the next one along the route I want to take is uh, like just a little too far out of reach. I slept in a little bit this morning, sort of. I didn't really sleep in. I woke up, but we had some pretty nasty storms this morning up here. And Northern Indiana, or North Northern Indiana, Northern Ohio. And there was no reason for me to roll out in it at four o'clock this morning, so I kind of waited for it to subside a bit. Now we got some rain here and there, but nothing like it was this morning. We had gusts and hail and lightning and all that. <clears throat> Not 100% sure where I'm gonna end up today. Somewhere west of Chicago, I know that much.
finish editing my last video because I had so much footage I wasn't able to record I also forgot to slide my tandems here and I don't feel like getting the phone calls in I my load rate or not i uh i called tyson a couple times and i are having a hard time getting through to him she was being rude as hell about it too but whatever uh i'm not getting any sleep i've been sitting here seven hours i haven't slept i am going to drop this trailer and go to walmart because last time i was at walmart i forgot dog food and also like to get some other snack stuff that is healthy so i can 
have snack here and there without screwing up my diet. Well, there's another option. I could drive out that way. There's a truck stop right there in Storm Lake, just south of Tyson. I could get there. Hour break. I could actually probably take it down there full time because it's just got to go to the view. But if I had to, I could take it down. There's what I'm trying to say is there's about 15 ways I could do this and accomplish it. And however it gets done is based is going to be mostly based on whether I can keep pushing or if I need to stop and take a nap somewhere. Tyson, the load is ready, so I'm just gonna go get it when my clock rolls over here. And I was looking at the reviews of this place I'm going to, which is funny, it's right next door to Hirschbox main terminal. I actually never went there when I worked for Hirschbox. I went to the Denton and the Kansas City terminal and the Joliet terminal, or the shop in Joliet really wasn't a terminal. But uh never been to the main one and I'm gonna go right next door to it. It's kind of funny. Or at least their office anyway. I could, it didn't really look like a truck lot but it says first bar. 45 minutes to go. Listen to this boy pitching mom. Did you quit your pitching? Did you quit it? Quit it. the ball. But there's time on the load that if I need to shut down for a few hours and get a nap, that's no problem. I don't need to be in Dubuque until 1. So, it's a little three-hour jaunt over to Storm Lake. Uh, see if I need to get fuel in Sioux uh, City or not in my Reaper. Because not everybody actually fills them up when they're supposed to. And this place lets them run all weekend loaded. So they have a fuel truck, but they, they charge Schuster for that too. So, anyway, they use our trailers as uh, storage units and then charge Schuster the diesel cost to keep stuff full. It's crazy. It happens in a lot of places. There's a lot of places that use these Reaper trailers as extra storage instead of transportation. The thing is, they're not that efficient at cooling. They're good at cooling, but they're not nearly as efficient as a cooler specifically built for it because these have to have some compromise. Yes, they're good at keeping things cold, but they're not very efficient because they have to be mobile, right? So they can't have giant, you know, two foot thick insulation on it because then you wouldn't be able to fit anything in it they would weigh too much. So they, you know, they're not very, they're not perfectly insulated and, you know, these diesel engines are running constantly. It's like, it's really expensive way to store shit. Anyway, I'm going to put the rest of this shit in my, in their cubby holes, the hot, the hot holes. The hot holes there, and there, and there, and there. I go back in that sleep booth and feel like I can fall asleep, I'll set an alarm for like 1 a.m. And if I fall asleep, I get up at 1 a.m. and I'll still be in time to go pick up this load and make it on time. That'd be more than enough. It's a six hour drive from here to Dubuque. It's a three hour drive to Storm Lake. Well, two hour and a, two and a half hour drive to Storm Lake. So if I leave here at one, two o'clock in the morning, which I mean, I'm just 
all this is just like if this then that if this then that my plan is here in about 45 minutes i'm going to get up and go pick up this load and drive it into dubuque and drop it but there are stipulations i've been up since damn near this time yesterday yeah because i woke up early yesterday too on about two i had about two hours of sleep last night woke up drove out my my clock got here was tired when i got here sat in my sleep booth i edited the video but that only took like an hour and then i just couldn't go to sleep so at least i got some dog food and i got some breakfast snacks i got some bananas Crappiest plastic sacks. Oh, come on. Those aren't going to stay now. Oh. That did not go as planned. Oh. Trying to get woke up. My head's pounding now. I still alarm for 2.30. I woke up at 4.40. I don't ever remember hearing the alarm. I must have probably just slept through it. Or turned it off in my sleep. I still had plenty of time. I just uh, didn't leave when I wanted to leave, which sucks. It feels late. Right? It doesn't matter if it's going to make it late. It just feels late. Like when you don't get up when you wanted to, it's like, well... If that was an emergency, I'd be late right now. Sucks. The thing I hate about this time of year is the swing around. Go to bed and it's 70 degrees outside, wake up and it's 28. And I'm a popsicle because I had my AC on. Sucks. What? I can't figure out is why in 2020 freaking four we don't have climate control systems in these trucks that are intelligent enough to know that when the temperature goes from 78 degrees and sunny to 32 i don't want to wake up freezing to death you think that'd be pretty easy to program Not a thermostat that can switch itself from heat to cold depending on what the weather was outside. So dumb. I never saw the benefit of a roundabout until just now, which makes me feel kind of stupid. But I was in that roundabout and my system's telling me to go left because it wants me to, it was wanting me to go back up to, uh, what was that, 71? And go north through Norfolk up to US 20 when I was looking for 35 because I was already on it. They told me to get off on a freaking road that has no trucks go down it, has a giant no truck sign. So I was able to just stay in the roundabout. And then, okay, there's 35 north. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Now I get it. sun comes up man it's just like I, I scared myself a couple times there I had to pull out and get some coffee
got a free scale. That dude in front of me took off before it was done weighing, and I pulled on. And it still was weighing, so I made my weights. Didn't have to pay for it. I don't know what I'm doing next. I got empty. I'm just waiting on a call. He don't call me in the next hour or two. I'll give him a shout and see what he knows. In the meantime, just sit here, I guess, because I already cleaned my truck mostly. Mostly. Cook me some dinner, I guess. Vacuum cleaner. Editor me. Uh, this video wasn't great because I ended up losing a bunch of footage in between one editing software to another. Because again, a software that I've been using, an app that I've been using for months since my last app started failing and, and wouldn't fix itself or get fixed, uh, just started doing the same kind of crap. Crashing and it wouldn't let you uh, import large files, it wouldn't let you export the video once it's edited. I edited this video four times. Four times. Front to back. Edited it. It wouldn't export. Couldn't do anything with it. I, did, I did, deleted the app and reinstalled it. I had to re-edit it to find out it still wouldn't finalize. And then I had to get this new app that doesn't have great music. and It's a little bit easier to use as far as editing goes. It has some cooler uh, visual effects, but it has a crap selection of music. And I'm not sure what to do about that yet. So just uh, have to bear with me, I guess, until I get this stuff figured out. I'm going back and forth with the app developers and trying to figure out what's going on with it, what I need to do to fix it. So far, nothing that they've suggested has worked. It's really annoying. I might just have to break down and buy a laptop, and at least that way I'll have a bunch of extra storage because I can't store a bunch of music and stuff on my phone because then I won't have any space for uh, the video itself. So, I don't know. I'll figure something out. But hope it wasn't too horrible to watch. If it was, I'm sure somebody will let me know.